Hello good day viewers. Let us talk about arithmetic progression series. When we say series, we mean some of these sequences. And how can we find some of sequence? In this tutorial, I'm only going to derive the general formula used to find the sum of particular n terms. Either maybe first three times, first four times, all of the terms if you want to sum them off together. All right, we have learned so far that the first term of an arithmetic progression sequence is donated by E. So we know that the first term is given as E. And we have seen how important is common difference. By adding common difference to every term, it will yield to the subsequent term. Therefore, the second term will be E plus D. Adding D to the second term will give us the third term. So we have A plus D plus D making two Ds. In that order, we have the fourth term as A plus 3D. If you keep on going, you have to reach the last term, which is donated by L. So let's see what will this result to if we add all of them together. Sn, which is sum of terms, known as series. We're now going to add all of these terms from the first to the last term and see what we are going to obtain. This will be equal to the first term plus the second term plus the third term plus the fourth term. This is how we are going to keep on adding them up to the last term. And we can call this one equation number one. So what do you think if, if L is the last term, what is that term before the last term? Definitely remember we are adding common difference to every term to obtain subsequent term. If we decide to be removing that common difference, it will be giving us the previous times after the first time. So we can even take the sum of the last term towards the first term. So we can obtain some of these terms by starting from the last to the first. The last term is L. The term before the last term is called L minus D. If you subtract D from that, you have to obtain the previous term before the last term. Subtract D again from here, you have to obtain uh, the term before the second to the last term. L minus D minus D is going to be L minus 2D plus L minus 3D plus you keep on adding up to the very first term and this is equation number two. All right, now let us add these two equations together and see. Sn plus Sn, we are going to obtain two Sn's. Two Sn's. And this is equal to A plus L. Right? This will also give us A plus L because look at it. A plus L. D plus negative D will give us zero. So this is how we are going to be obtaining A plus L in every single term. This term plus this term will give us A plus L. Plus R to the last one, which is L plus A, the same thing commutative, A plus L. So how many A plus L are here? We don't know because of this dot 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 it means infinitely many so let us consider the number as n number of a plus l so 2 s n is equal to uh, n number of a plus l because we don't know the number of a plus l here so let us assume the number is n we are looking for s n remember so we can divide both sides by 2 
Therefore, Sn, which is sum of times, can be obtained by taking the number of times in that sequence, divide by 2, multiply by A plus L. This is our general formula. But if you look carefully, we can form another formula out of this general formula. Because we know how to find L. L is also a term in a sequence, and every single term in a sequence is donated by Tn. And we know the general formula for getting Tn. So let us apply it to get the second equation. But this is the general one, equation one. Okay. We know that Tn is also L because every single term is Tn. But we have last term. Even A can be regarded as Tn. This is equal to A plus N minus 1 times D, if you can recall. That is the formula used to find every single term in a sequence. You know, in the first term, D is 0. So if you take this to be 0, multiply by this, you'll be left with A. Second term, we have a single D. Okay, let us substitute this into this equation. As n will now be equal to n divided by 2. In the bracket, we have a plus l, which is a plus n minus 1 times d. We now have two a's together. As n finally is equal to n divided by 2. In the bracket, we have 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. And this is our second formula. This is always very important when you are given the first and the last term. But there are some certain instances where you will be asked to sum some particular terms within the sequence. You are always free to use this formula when the common difference is known. But suppose you are only given the first and the last term without any other term and you are asked to find the number of terms in that sequence, you can use this formula to find the number of terms if the sum is also given to you. So these two formulas are very important. We can use this to find uh, sum of terms. We can use it to find number of terms. We can use it to find last term. Everything you can see here, we can use this formula to find them one, two, three, four four variables. Here again, if common difference is given and number of terms are given, you can substitute uh, to find the sum of that sequence. And uh, subsequently, we're going to be applying these formulas to find the sum of sequences within a range or all of the terms. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.